SpaceX has consistently been at the forefront of space technology, pushing boundaries and making what seemed like science fiction a few years ago a reality today. Their Starship, envisioned as a fully reusable spacecraft designed to carry humans to the Moon, Mars and beyond, stands as a testament to this vision. Now, after some wait, there's good news. SpaceX is back in action, ready to jumpstart its testing for the most anticipated rocket in the world, the Starship. There's been a lot of buzz around this, especially after the FAA's recent handoff to the Fish and Wildlife Service concerning the test date for the second Starship flight. Let's dive deeper into the current status and what we can expect from SpaceX in the coming days. But before we delve into all the intricate details, here's a small request. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. By doing so, you'll stay updated on Starship and all of SpaceX's groundbreaking projects. Jumping back to the latest developments, there's fresh news from the SpaceX camp. They've officially communicated to the Coast Guard about their intent to conduct ground testing on the Starship imminently. These tests are diverse in nature and purpose. They might involve loading the rocket with propellant, testing its structural resilience, or perhaps even a full-fledged wet dress rehearsal where they run the entire countdown to launch. Another pivotal aspect is the static fire test. This evaluates some or all of the rocket's engines, providing invaluable data. It's a critical step to ensure that everything is in top shape before an actual launch. To add to the anticipation, SpaceX recently dropped a hint on Twitter, stating, Starship fully stacked, while the team prepares for a launch rehearsal. We continue to work with the FAA on a launch license. This tweet certainly sent ripples of excitement through the space enthusiast community. To add more weight to these developments, evidence from on the ground supports this news. Road closures around the SpaceX test site in Boca Chica have been scheduled, with the primary date set for October 17th. They've also kept the subsequent two days as backup options, just in case. Located in Boca Chica, Starship's development site has witnessed significant progress in the last few weeks. By the end of August and start of September, the Starship had multiple static fires and significant upgrades to its stage separation system. That's quite an acceleration from the earlier pace. Many were hopeful, based on FAA's initial statements, that Starship would soar into the skies this month. With these developments taking place, it's clear that they're ready to take their massive Starship rocket to the skies. This launch might happen today or in the next few days, depending on a lot of things. Space exploration is a tricky business. You don't just send a rocket up. There's a lot of planning, working with different groups, testing on the ground, and making sure everything is safe. The Coast Guard has been told about these tests, and they've even marked out areas of caution that go all the way into the Gulf of Mexico. You might be scratching your head thinking, how does the launch of a rocket involve the Fish and Wildlife Service? The answer lies in the aftermath of Starship's first launch attempt back in April. That trial not only led to significant damage to surrounding infrastructure, but also had a notable impact on local wildlife. As a result of these unexpected challenges, the Fish and Wildlife Service has now stepped in, taking on the responsibility of approving any changes to the launch pad. Following the damage to the launch pad after Starship's April test, many anticipated a lengthy recovery process with some even speculating that the Starship would be grounded for over a year. However, in a typical display of SpaceX's agility and innovation, these predictions were defied. Instead of spending months on end rebuilding the pad, the company swiftly incorporated a state-of-the-art fire suppression system and quickly validated its effectiveness through a static fire. Observers, continually monitoring the bustling activities at the test site, have documented intriguing adjustments to the Starship system. One notable modification was observed after SpaceX fully stacked the Starship system. They meticulously removed and later reinstalled the interstage separation ring atop the Super Heavy booster. This change is particularly significant given the issues faced in April's test launch, where the two Starship rocket stages faced challenges separating during flight. The concept isn't entirely new. The idea of hot staging, one where one rocket stage ignites while the preceding stage is still firing, was a technique employed by older Russian rockets. 
By adopting and possibly advancing upon this method, SpaceX demonstrates its prowess in blending tried and true techniques with cutting edge technology. Since the April flight, they have made numerous system level upgrades, focusing heavily on the rocket's core functionalities. The main improvements focus on the rocket's engines and its propulsion. They've also strengthened the system to prevent fires. Remember, during the first test, there were some engine problems. Considering this rocket uses a massive 33 engines, which is really unique, fixing these issues is super important for the next launches. The significance of this Starship orbital launch attempt extends beyond SpaceX's aspirations. Since the conclusion of the Apollo missions in the 1970s, humanity has not returned to the lunar surface. And for decades, the moon remained an unvisited frontier. The Artemis Lunar Exploration Campaign by NASA signifies a renewed ambition to revisit this celestial neighbor. In this grand return to the moon, NASA has identified SpaceX and its Starship as pivotal partners. By investing over $4 billion in SpaceX through the Human Landing System program, NASA has signaled its intent. Starship is not just another spacecraft, but the chosen vessel to land the next generation of astronauts on the lunar surface. This partnership stands as a testament to SpaceX's technological prowess and their ability to execute challenging missions. Furthermore, the collaboration between NASA and SpaceX is not limited to the Artemis program alone. Over the years, NASA has granted SpaceX multiple contracts encompassing a range of responsibilities from cargo resupplies to the International Space Station to developing cutting-edge crewed spacecraft. These alliances symbolize a deepening relationship and a growing trust. It's clear that SpaceX, once a newcomer in the aerospace sector, is evolving into an indispensable player embodying the future of space exploration. Through these joint endeavors, SpaceX is not just carving its own path, but is also shaping the trajectory of the entire space industry. Moreover, countries like China are aggressively advancing their space capabilities. Unlike traditional competitors who operate with a sense of collaborative spirit, China's approach has been more insular. This was evident when they were excluded from the International Space Station, not solely based on technology or capability, but due to concerns regarding transparency, intellectual property, and international cooperation. Given this backdrop, SpaceX's Starship assumes an even greater significance. And that's all for today's update about the Starship. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.